engines all over the place! Alexander Morris, you are indeed back among the living. Please come up here so I may tell you about your future in service of history. You are in the future from your perspective, around 300 years or so, if you're curious. We are Chronotech, and through the research and efforts of our founder, Dr. Ranier Cole, we have made time travel not only possible, but practical. It's a recent innovation. Dr. Cole took his first trip 20 years ago, and we are very careful in our travels. We use it only for research. But what a fantastic gift. The mysteries alone we've solved. Chronotech travelers witnessed monoliths being raised at Stonehenge. Another team discovered why the Mayan civilization disappeared. We've discovered and learned so much. But with the power of time travel comes the responsibility of protecting history. Dr. Cole is a fanatic about this. It's one of the reasons we call him the father of time. He knew changing history would be dangerous and foolish. Together, the goals of discovery and protecting history form the prime objective of Chronotech. Keeping that in mind, 
there have been some very disquieting developments. First, Dr. Cole is missing. I fear the very father of time is lost somewhere, some time out there. Second, we are identifying certain historical events out of place and certain people being put suddenly in harm's way. We discover new anomalies every day and we can't find the cause or connection. I can explain neither Dr. Cole's absence nor the changes we've been seeing, but I have a strong hunch they're related somehow. That's where you come in, Alexander Morris. You will be sent to different places in their times of great strife and change, charged with saving those people facing an untimely end. You are the perfect candidate to help our cause, and I'm sure you'd like to show your gratitude for being rescued from certain death. There's more you need to know, and you must have some questions. For the answers, step into the portal and meet the man who will help you along in your quests, Agent Dexter. I guess you're the fucking new guy, huh? Now you got some work to do and I think you should start with some weapons training. Things are a bit different these days. We're sending you out with a rifle and a pistol. Depending on when you're headed, you'll be issued the right guns for that time. You can only carry two guns at a time, but you can pick up any gun you might find. See if you can sight in that old boy. Well done. I think you have the right idea. For a quick reload, fire again when it flashes green. If you miss it, your weapon jams up and it takes even longer. These are standard issue stick grenades. Just aim and let them fly. Toss a couple out there and see if you can take out old Hans. Hot damn, just like a big old firecracker. <laughs> Toss a few more if you like. Old Hans will keep on coming back. Remember, they can throw them at you too. <laughs> All right, son. I think you figured out them grenades. We might run across some artillery, so let's get you checked out on the big guns. You can change the cannon's aim from left to right and adjust the angle of the trajectory to dial in the range. Be patient and plan ahead. You can't swing this thing around like a 20 gauge. Let's get you checked out on the map system. Bring up your map and take a look. The icon indicates your location. The circles are your objectives. Enemy locations, when we know where they are, are marked in red. There's a couple of things you need to know. First of all, there are certain people that need to survive. They'll be surrounded by a blue aura. If you kill them, it knocks the time stream all cattywampus. That brings all sorts of unwanted attention and it'll get you killed faster than shit through a goose. To neutralize them, aim for the legs, shoot for their shoulders. Just don't kill them. There's another way to take out the blue aura enemies. A new experimental weapon called chasers. Unleash these glowing little gremlins and they'll seek out enemies with blue auras knocking them unconscious and taking them out of the battle while keeping them alive. Be careful with these. You gotta be within throwing distance for them to do their job. You'll pick up the rest as we go, but just remember, don't kill the guys with blue auras. 
I'm gonna try to keep you from making the big stupid, but the rest is on you. Stay in line, follow officer's orders, and keep your head down. Get ready for war, son. Welcome back, Morris. Dexter, I'm assuming your training session went well? Yes, ma'am. I ran his rear through the gear and he seems to be gripping gravel. Very well. After consulting with the Chronotech Timestream Monitors, I've isolated two individuals in immediate danger. Joseph Welsh is a soldier in the Union Army in the United States Civil War. He's supposed to be away from the action, working as a supply clerk, but he's suddenly been moved to the front lines. Our other target is Captain Petrovich, a Russian officer in World War I. He and his troops should stay together through the war, but they're now in the path of a crushing German counterattack at Tannenberg. If either Welsh or Petrovich meets an untimely end, the repercussions could be far-reaching. Rescue them from their current crisis, and our reintegration team will get them back to their time period safely. Dexter, have you prepared mission briefings? Yes, ma'am. I've prepared mission strategies and maps and loaded them to the view screen up there. Then I'll leave both of you to your business and look forward to your successful return. Well, you got a choice to make. Where are we going? All right, I got good news. You already know how to use this war's weapons. That's the only good news there is. You know about this battle. It's the bloodiest day of American history. The Battle of Antietam and the Civil War. This is the night before all the shit flies. You'll be scouting rebel positions and learning the lay of the land while moving into position to meet Joseph Welsh. If you're lucky, we might even find him tonight. That'd save a whole lot of hassle. You're going in just outside a Union camp. You'll be attached to a scout patrol. Join them and follow orders as you move ahead. Keep your eyes peeled, your head down, and your powder dry. You all done with the shitter? Scouts, form up. Gather around now. Y'all are gonna scout through the swamp, at least up to the road. Patrol 1, head along the north ridge. 2 and 3, you're taking the southern route. Rescue boys just head on down the middle. It's gonna be tough to spot those graybacks in the dark, so be careful.
Get in the trees! There's reps heading down the road. That was a close one, boys. Sure was. Look at all them reps. Imagine what would happen if one of you idiots gave us away. Show your pie hole and we'll find out. Okay, it's safe to slip by now. Let's head down the road some and uh, pick up a path heading north through the woods. Careful now, there's a rib signaling beacon up ahead. You know, we could just slip up the hill there on the right. of killing. Slow up, boys. This don't feel right. Holy crap, oh, look at that. Now, let's try and do this quietly. Well, no other way but through. Well, there's no telling how many more are heading down that road. Come on, boys! After them! Some bitches know we're here. Well, boys, it's out of the frying pan.
feeling there's more revs around here somewhere. Well, I'll be damned. Them red bastards are ransacking the manor. Now's as good a chance as any to slip through. Quick, in the field. There's too many revs on the road. If any of you morons get lost in the corn, just follow the smoke. They're in the corn! Shit, quiet down, boys. Sweep them out, boys! Let's head up hill towards the man. Bunch of rebs up there. Best be careful sneaking up there. Well, boys, looks like more blood to spill.
Boys, come on back and take a look at this. Will you look at that, boys? Get over here! There's a whole army camp down there. We gotta report this, boys. I think our camp's just to the west and over the river. Let's move out! No time to waste! Sounds like a rhubarb happening up ahead. Some bitches come from. The main camp is west of here. Let's get a move on, boys. No sense in wasting time. Hear that up ahead? Keep your head down, boss! Hear that up ahead? No doubt some reps have run across our patrols. Way to get some shut eye, my friend. We're almost there, boys. Good job, men. I suggest you get some rest. I got a feeling we're gonna have a long day tomorrow. is correct, Dexter. There was just too much land to cover and the Confederate presence was much too strong in the area. We knew it was a long shot to find Welsh in the middle of the night. Now we have to do it the hard way. Sorry, boys. Whether you go after Welsh or Petrovich next, you're heading into heavy battle. You're doing very well maintaining history. Keep it up. I'll see you when you return. Your job will be a lot easier if your shooting irons are in better shape. Our team is working on improving period weapons, but they're also running interference for you. Remember the people with the blue auras? Fewer of them you kill, the more time our team has to work on your weapon systems, and the less time they spend cleaning up after your worthless ass. Come on over to the weapons table. I can show you more. After every mission, assuming you don't totally screw it up, you'll get upgrade points. 
You can use these points to get more ammo and a clip, a faster rate of fire, better accuracy, you get the idea. Once you use them, though, you can't get them back, so choose carefully. I think when this is all over, I'm asking Mother if she'll let me go camping back in dinosaur times. Maybe take me down a Stegosaurus and cook it over a big old campfire. This is during the opening days of World War I at Tannenberg. You're in the second Russian army, which has three big problems. Number one, first Russian army general Renkamp wouldn't piss on second army general Samsonov if he was on fire. He's hung the second army out to dry just because he hates Samsonov. Number two, both of these dumb shit generals have been broadcasting their orders on the radio, unencoded. Number three, the Germans know all this, and they're set to kick Russian ass. Hell, after this one, Russia doesn't march on German soil again until 1945. The Second Army is destroyed. Over 125,000 Russian troops are lost. Somehow, Petrovich has been moved to the Second Army. We know he made it out of Tannenberg, but about 100,000 Germans are breathing down his neck. We're gonna get you close, just south of the town. But it's gonna be a fucking mess out there, which means it's gonna be a pain in the ass to find Petrovich. I'll be there to help you track him. Look for me when you get there. Petrovich. He's pinned down. Get your ass on that gun and provide cover fire. Now, damn it! We need to head this way. This path is the only way you could have made it. Keep going.
Germans are attacking. Let's help out our Russian brothers. Nice shot, Morris. I taught you well. Drop them one at a time, son. We're gonna catch up with him. We need to head this way. Нет, 
сюда! Немедленно! Ложись! Ложись! Давай, ложись! Мы обязаны остановить! Они все и Мы никому не достоин! Там еще больше на левой стороне! Ложись! Найди дыру! Гони их назад на свою Огромь собственную его! землю. Ленных не берем. За деревьями. А -а -а! Вали! Нам нужно больше боеприпасов здесь. Boy, soldier, you picked this shit up quick. Now, let's get after that Petrovich fella. That mill looks like a headquarters type place. Let's take a look. All right, he's got to be close. Let's get up closer to the action. Гони их назад, на свою собственную землю. Мы обязаны Just остановить немца. What he was saying was that this whole area is pretty much overrun, and he's sending all troops on to Frankenau. Now, that sounds like our next destination, but I want to head back to the Chronotech labs and do some planning. Come on, let's blow this pop stand. I perceive Dexter's report. It sounds like all hell was breaking loose back there. Good job getting Petrovich off the battlefield. It was bad luck you couldn't catch up with him. Our research shows a location just outside Frankenau is the best rendezvous point for Petrovich. 
You could also follow up with Welsh at Antietam. We're nearing a critical point there. Remember, maintaining the integrity of history is our mission at Chronotech. Tannenberg is pretty well overrun by this point, if you haven't guessed. You need to head south toward Frankenau, where it looks like the Russians have a rendezvous point. If you're gonna find Petrovich, you'll be there. You got a big chunk of forest to get through, and there's Germans all over the place. You won't have to break through any lines, but I guarantee you'll take fire. You can go left or right or down the middle, but there's farmhouses, trees, all sorts of places for Germans to hide and hold the road. Stay close to cover. And don't be a goddamn hero. I've arranged for a shotgun to be left for you in a farmhouse. And this ain't no ordinary 12-gauge. This is a fully automatic, high-capacity, recoil-balanced, kick-ass combat shotgun. Now, it'll give you an edge, but it won't make you bulletproof, so be careful. Собираемся! 
Страну и пройдемся маршем по их могилам. У меня кончаются патроны. У кого есть еще? Ох, чует мое сердце не к добру. Ты привел к нам врага! Бери винтовку на плечо немедленно! Right so much for my superior mission planning skills, huh? Well, we made this mess, we should probably clean it up. Head for the trenches, beat back the Germans. Germans just keep coming, and the best way to overcome a numerical advantage is vastly superior firepower. 
I advise you to unleash its righteous fury on the battleground, preferably the German side. Give me that. We can't have just anybody get their dick beaters on it. We're done at these trenches. Go join up with that patrol. I've just reviewed your mission report. I can't believe this. A direct intervention by unknowns trying to change history? This is... I can't... There's... There's no precedent for this. And you say your weapons just bounce right off them? Who are these interlopers? We must find out. I'll have the team here find out what they can. In the meantime, we should stay out of World War One. Welsh is more important now anyway. I'm off to brief the team. You'd think with all this fighting we'd get a little futuristic R&R. &R. Maybe send us to the great strip bars through history or something. This is gonna be an old-fashioned clusterfuck right here. You're headed straight into some of the deadliest hours of American history. And it's going to be uglier in an orangutan's afterbirth. The cornfield fight was one of the bloodiest clashes of Antietam. This one small patch of ground went back and forth between the Union and Confederates more than 11 times. By noon, there wasn't even a stock of corn left standing. Now stick with your fellow soldiers. As sick as it sounds, they're your living body armor, and there's going to be a lot of lead in the air. Remember, you ain't there for them. You're there to find Welsh. He'll be in the cornfield somewhere. You keep your eye out for him and get him out of there. Get clear of the battle and head toward Dunker Church while avoiding Confederate patrols. We'll find a way to get you home somehow. In the meantime, follow orders, don't draw attention to yourself, and by God, don't try to be a hero.
we should have right on up ahead. Warm up, man. In line. Warm up, man. In line. Keep together. to fight at the Battle of Antietam, seeing how you missed it the first time around? Yeah, you can thank me later. Take this gun and engage in some numerical adjustment out there. That means you turn back the Confederate advance, bust open their line, find Welsh, and get both your asses out of here. Confederates coming through the corn! The Rebs are making a push! Stop them, stinking Rebs!
chase him down. Chase him down! Come on, men! Show it! Come on! Why are they retreating? Now! Come on, men! Come on, quickly! We're making a push to take that Dunker Church. I ain't keen on dying in the cornfield, so why don't we head up... Just when it starts to cool off, the plastic is heated. Holy mother! What in the hell are those demons? Come on, son. We gotta go. I'll figure out another way to get Welsh, but we'll get fucking beat if we stay here. I'm so relieved you both made it back. Those strange intruders are quickly becoming our overriding problem. We simply can't do anything else until we come up with a way to deal with them. I believe we'll need to capture one of these strangers. And I am tasking you and Dexter to get that done. It's up to you how.
I think when this is all over, I'm asking Mother if she'll let me go camping back in dinosaur times. Maybe take me down a Stegosaurus and cook it over a big old campfire. Here's the deal. Those agents, well, call them that have been hassling you, are turning into a major problem. We need to figure out where they're coming from, who they're working for, and what the hell they're packing for heat. Now, I don't like this a whole lot, but we're up against it, and this is what we gotta do. I've scouted out a ravine where some cavalry boys are getting their asses handed to them by the Indians. I want you to clear out the Indians, and then, well, you need to take out the soldiers with blue auras. And that'll grab the attention of those agent boys. They're gonna come after you, and you're playing rabbit. Lead them up through the ravine, and I'll take care of the rest. Alright, Tenderfoot. I've scouted the area, and we have a perfect place for our trap. Follow me. Alright, this is the spot. You're gonna need to lead them here. Right now, let's head up there and take a look around. Yeah, this looks good. I'll be able to cover you from up here if you stick to the ravines on your way back. Take a good look, and check your map. You're gonna have a few of those shiny shitheads on your tail when you come back through. Now the cavalry targets should be that way, and we're gonna wanna- Shit, did you hear that? Gotta be an Indian patrol. Get moving.
Thank goodness, he came just in time. I didn't know there were other cavalrymen out there. What unit you with? Not much of a talker, eh? eh? It's fine with me. Son, you managed to keep your poop with a group under fire. <laughs> I might even be proud of you right now. Now let's get all this back to headquarters and figure out what's going on with these fellas. It's such a joy to welcome back my triumphant warriors. Well done, the both of you. Our investigators are going to work with our new guest and see what we can learn. We have not had a chance to do any research yet, but we do already know their shield resonance. That will allow you to take them down twice as effectively. That should even out the playing field, as I assume you will encounter them again. Much work still needs to be done. Both Welsh and Petrovich are still out there, but now I can confidently send you to get it done. Dexter, whatever plan you put together worked very well. Please keep up the good work. You trusted me and didn't say anything. I appreciate that, so I'm gonna let you in on what's going on. Come here. Do you wonder why you're here? Or why I'm here? Well, we're a couple of history mysteries, the two of us. Like you at Little Bighorn. You were about ready to buy the farm. But since you were just transferred from a different unit and arrived early, history shows you as an MIA from your previous unit. The lists of the dead and missing from Custer's last stand don't have your name. As far as history's concerned, you're a ghost, and perfect for snatching by Chronotech, just like me. I was a firefighter in New York City. It was an exciting job. Dangerous, but it was worth it. And on that fateful day, I wasn't working. Wasn't even on call. But I heard the scanner and I knew I had to respond. And right before a kajillion tons of steel and concrete collapsed on top of me, a portal appeared and a Chronotech agent pulled me in. Just like you. If Chronotech hadn't snagged me, I'd be dead. So, as the MIAs of history, we're allowed to go back and set things right with history, while the rest of the Chronotech folks can't. They're stuck. They have to use us MIAs that are never figured out. Pretty deep, huh? And there's more of us. The research team is concentrating on finding and retrieving other ghosts of time. One piece of advice. If she offers to send you back to your original time, don't take it. You'll be sent to the exact moment you left. In your case, about ten seconds before an Indian splits open your skull. When it comes to working for Chronotech, you're damned if you do, and dead if you don't. How's that for a motivational slogan, huh? Eh, well, sorry for the history lesson. We have work to do. Where do you want to start?
You'd think with all this fighting we'd get a little futuristic R&R. &R. Maybe send us to the great strip bars through history or something. Remember what Welsh said about joining the push on Dunker Church? That's our best bet on finding him again. Now we'll join the push while the Confederates are scrambling ass over tea kettle from their cornfield retreat. You're gonna join up with the Union lines and sweep across the field, take out the Confederate artillery, and then move on to Dunker Church. I'm joining up with a different unit to maximize our eye power. You help the Union troops secure the church, I'll meet you there. And keep your eyes peeled for Welsh. This time try not to freak him out. them goddamn horses. My aim was good enough to take that bastard.
minutes to fight. Take the battery.
restaurant. She was jealous because he was sleeping with someone else. You made it! Good job. We've taken the church, but the rebels won't let us off that easy. There's a counterattack coming. I talked with Welsh and could have grabbed him, but he's got orders that must get to General French. If those orders don't get through, well, who knows what could happen. We'll get him after he makes his delivery. Squared away, son. Good job. You gentlemen are not exactly building a great track record. You realize that Dr. Cole is still missing, possibly hurt or imprisoned, and the only clues we can pursue are Welsh and Petrovich? I've given you the ability to match forces with those interlopers, I can't believe that a 300-year-old war is giving you trouble. The future of Chronotech depends on finding Dr. Cole. Please, let's make some progress. You'd think with all this fighting we'd get a little futuristic R&R. &R. Maybe send us to the great strip bars through history or something. Petrovich is moving through this area tonight, but I've identified German support positions directly in his path that'll be very hazardous to his health. If we clear out the Germans, Petrovich and his men will be able to make it through, and we can locate them in the morning. Now, I know it sounds like we're changing history here, but these Germans will be wiped out by a Russian counteroffensive later in the day. We're just doing it a little early. Our simulation models indicate no long-term effects, so we're good to go. All right, let's harness up and hit the ground. Well, shit. We can travel through time, but we still can't get the weather forecast right. <laughs> All right, kid. The rain means I can't laze my targets, so you're up to bat. Infiltrate each of the German sites and plant locator beacons on key points. Once you do that, you'll have a few seconds to clear the area before all hell rains down on you. Remember, these camps are going to reinforce one another, so try to do things quietly.
Dexter? You just want to talk. Come on, now. I don't know how you know my name, but I'm telling you one last time. Get the fuck out of here or I'll blow us all to hell. He's bluffing. We all know how disruptive that'd be. Especially you. You're the one so hell-bent on preserving things. Wanna bet you piece of shit? All right, Dexter. You win. Let's get out of here before he pulls anything else. Where the hell were you? Ah, oh, don't worry about this. I just can't believe those morons ran away from a smoke grenade. <laughs> Maybe those drama classes back in my salad days are paying off, huh? <laughs> Nothing like a good bluff, I'll tell you. Well, I think we bought ourselves an opening with our work tonight, so might as well get back to the lab, huh? I can't say that I'm thrilled with your performance up to this point. No Welsh, no Petrovich, and, most importantly, no father of time. Chronotech cannot continue without his leadership, you understand? The missing Welsh and Petrovich are the only clues we have to follow, so I suggest we do so. There is a time stream anomaly alert that requires my attention. Welsh is tagged, so we know where he is. But those orders he has need to get to General French, and that's where it gets tricky. Because French will send Welsh on to fight at the Sunken Road, and I don't want to be anywhere near that place. Bodies piled six deep, blood running so thick the road became known as Bloody Lane. No thanks. Let's try and skip that if we can. We're gonna find Welsh, make sure he gets the orders to French, and then find the nearest possible place to hightail it out of there before the bloodbath. You keep finding me, but I got bigger problems than you right now. I'm separated from my man, and I've lost. Oh, here, here they come. We need to get off this road. Run! Shit, that would be a real crappy day, you know? Did you hear me? I said run.
Like I was saying, I got orders to deliver to French, but we got separated in the fight. Stevens and Potter. Well, Potter had the orders with him. I, I don't know what I was thinking. We gotta get those orders. There's a farmhouse close to here. We said we'd meet up there. Stevens, it, it, it's Welsh. Where's Potter? Where are the orders? Potter took off. We're scattered. I got spooked. Potter took off in our oath. Ambush! Run. Stay all over the place. Stuck with you until we get out of this pickle pot. Look, the signal tower. Let's step lightly here. More is likely we'll run into horses. This place is crawling with Confederates. Potter, you poor dumb bastard. Well, we got the orders. Better keep moving.
men for certain. What do you know? It's Tweedledee and Tweedle... Oh shit, Rebel's coming in. Morris, that cannon behind you is loaded. You want to do the honors? Out of here before that bloody lane.
You there! Get moving! The Confederates might have good position, but we march on the moral high ground. Now get up that hill and demonstrate to them our finer sensibilities, you dumb cuss! Oh, man. And we gotta follow his orders, though. Shaping up this is a, a huge fight day, you know? up here, Morris. We gotta get through it with Welsh.
gotta get him in the woods so we can get out of here unseen. An honor fighting with you, Corporal. We're gonna flush out any rebels still hiding in the forest. Why don't you join us? I'll take point. Follow me. Sorry to spring this on you, boy, but we need you. And even though you don't know it, you need us. In you go! We finally got him. And you made it all happen. I'm proud of you, son. Damn fine job. Let's get back to HQ. <laughs> Welsh is probably crapping his pants right now. Hello there. You are fine here and will not be harmed. Nor can you harm me. I just want a couple of moments of your time. <laughs> I guess we are all just looking for a few certain moments here and there, eh? I am from what you know as the opposition. And I'm here to tell you that you're working for the wrong people. The bad guys, if you will. I can't say for sure that you've been lied to, but you certainly haven't heard the whole story. You're actually advancing the forces of evil with every trip you take. But you cannot join us, even if you want. You must return and continue Mom's bidding and see how this plays out. She must be working with Dr. Kor, brainwashing him, maybe even torturing the poor man. I wish he were with us. We are not necessarily a violent group, but the stakes are too high. I cannot safeguard you from my more militant colleagues who are lobbying very strongly for your elimination. I can only do what I can to craft a more peaceful solution while stemming the tide of widespread murder. It's time for you to go. Remember what I've told you. If you see Dr. Gore, try and talk with him. I will find you again. Dexter, I don't suppose you have any idea why you and Morris arrived separately. There is also a very strange signature in your incoming time stream, Morris. Quite strange. The Chronotech integration team will work with Welsh and reintegrate him into his own time period. Of more pressing concern is the still outstanding Petrovich. Recon shows we have a chance, albeit a slim one, to reach him before the German hordes. Dexter? Please fill in the details. My presence is required with our investigators. Did I ever tell you the one about a priest, a rabbi, and Abraham Lincoln walk? All right, Petrovich is on one side of this bridge or the other, and we need to find him. Now, there's a few skirmishes going on over here, and I think we'll find Petrovich on this side. I hope so, because history has the Russians throwing themselves at the bridge and eating it hard. If we don't find him over here, we gotta go over there, and that means busting through the bridge. The Germans have secured the bridge, and the Russians are scattered. So, let's do some clean-up work, get the Russian troops concentrated on the bridge. If we don't find Petrovich on this side, we'll need their help to take it so we can get across to the other side. Well, Morris, the two armies here have come to a bit of a standoff. You and I are gonna have to, well, stir things up a little, and help push the Germans back in several locations. Once we've done that, the Russians ought to have men to spare in taking the Trestle Bridge out of action. The three spots where we'll need to focus our effort are the beachfront, the hillside forest, and the train. Let's move out, kid. I got your back.
Russians have joined the attack. We should help them out. have taken back the beach now. Coming in, Morris. Teen Gefogenen!
to the Germans in the forest. Joined the attack. We should help him out. Мы слишком рассредоточены. У меня кончаются патроны. Гони их назад. Ложи, ложи, земля. Давай, ложи. Мы не можем удержать эту потерю. Поднимаемся выше! Медик! Где медик? Ложись! Найдите! Нам нужно больше найти Не оставляй ни одного фрица! На родину! Смерть оккупанта! Не нападай! Не обязаны остановить меня! Job. There'd probably be the lot of them at the train. All right, my friend. Looks like we've taken care of things here. Let's head up to the Russian command post and take care of this trestle bridge with our new buddies.
Благодаря вам и вашим бойцам мы готовы взять этот мост. Немцы сегодня потеряют важный объект. Мы долго ждали. И теперь эта возможность перед нами. Вперед! Мы перегруппируемся с войсками. На вершине холма подкрепление! Ура! Ура! Тревога! All right, kid, here's the deal. You see all this gear? The Germans had a plan for it. They're supposed to blow this bridge sky high, but the Russian advance is too strong right now. Now that leaves the job up to us, and this job is brought to you by the letter C and the number four. You know, the good stuff. Let's blow that trestle and put on a fireworks show. <laughs> Get out of here! 
Мы обязаны остановить немцев! Crawling with Germans. We ought to have some support in a second. Oh yeah, incoming. Gonna tear that tank to shreds. Let's get the hell off this bridge. Take a run for it. Now! Alright, buddy, we need to get a move on south. Petrovich is at the farm. You might have seen him during our visit to the beach. Things up here will take care of themselves, so move it! The bridge is about to blow! Good going! It's a ways to the farm yet, though. Farmers over there, across the field. have set up a command post inside that farmhouse. No doubt, that's where Petrovich is holed up. Nobody here. Those are German artillery crews on the radio. I'll bet they're preparing an attack, and earlier than they should have. Awful quiet out there. This isn't good. Let's get to the barn. Morris, make a run for the barn! Hey! 
Hey, Morris! Get on that Maxim upstairs! Hold back the Germans! I'm gonna talk Petrovich into getting out of here. Here they come! Petrovich, you need to come with me! Keep up the good work, my friend! Hey, fuck off! I'm not here to deal with you! Petrovich! You come with me! We go! Now! Petrovich is a stubborn bastard, but I think I can sway him! Morris, this might take a little convincing. Stay sharp up there. Пойти с тобой что? Бросить моих ребят? Не, мы будем здесь держаться. Зови под ногу. Мы готовы заменить наших стрельцов. Все для того, нормально. This place is gonna get overrun and we're all gonna die. You need to come with me. Все, мой сын. Пойди здесь, стрельцов. Стой здесь. Я сейчас разберусь с этим чертом. We're getting Petrovich out of here. Shit, this is gonna be close. Son of a bitch. Nat's gonna fight us in the ass, I think. Let's just get out of here before anything else goes fast at us. Fantastic work! We finally have Petrovich in our hands. But what's this? I don't understand. The time stream analyzer shows no difference, as if he wasn't rescued. Just like what happened to Welsh. But they're here, and we've done everything. Those interlopers, the opposition. At least we've managed to figure out Welsh. Our research shows another almost identical time signature at Antietam. It's Welsh's twin brother, Jonathan. It looks like we must save them both. I'll leave that to you, Dexter. Meanwhile, I'll have the integration team get Petrovich back to his time frame and see if that helps. Another Welsh? Well, I'll be all go to hell. Not like this time travel business ain't screwy enough. I'm just relieved he made it through the cornfield. Now, you'd think that we could just go back to the cornfield. But here's the thing. Our time signature is all over that place. We'd just be asking for trouble from those opposition assholes if we came back. Burnside's Bridge is our best bet to find him. It's a big bottleneck that the Union needs to break through. Only a couple of hundred rebels are holding back thousands of Union troops. I say we bust open that bottleneck to stop all the incoming lead, and then hopefully we can find Welsh as the Union troops stream across the bridge. If not, we'll beat the bushes until we find him. Well, what a surprise. A bunch of crates. All right, buddy, let's get moving. We need to play this just right, my friend. Stick close to me and we'll get it done. With all the parts you came with, stay right behind me. This is what we came for. Woo -hoo -hoo! I'm 
gonna put my head up and send some lead down range. You get your ass to that next boulder. Now! Move! Alright, buddy, time to return to favor. Give me some covering fire. I'm gonna jump ahead. Give me some more cover. Okay, we're around the final turn and into the home stretch, but we ain't home free. You see that dead tree in the wagon wheel? You bust your ass and run like you never run before right between them. I'll be right with you. You ready? Let's go! Here's our problem. This cannon team is definitely not in firing condition, and we need the firepower to neutralize the rebel snipers. Looks like it's us again. Remember your trajectory math? Remember what she said about a simple, straightforward mission? I didn't believe that shit either. Well, it's not our first rodeo. Come on, let's go to work.
vultures! Hold your horses! We ain't following that crowd! We still gotta get that other Welsh and hightail it back! Come on down this way! Let's go! Down the chute! I thought we'd find Welsh when all the Union troops broke through, but I don't see him. He's probably back in the supply lines. We're gonna backtrack and find that bastard. Couple more moving on the path. Let's take them out. You picked the wrong path, boy. Come on, man.
son of a... My friend, this has gone from our normal snafu to something fucked up to the 11th power. We need to find Welsh number two and get the hell out of here now. Jonathan Welsh? There's a lot of people looking for you, friend. Be happy we found you first. We're taking you to your brother. Well, I'll be all go to hell. Incoming agents, buddy. Brace for a fight. set of Welshers. Very good job, men. You'll be happy to know that simulation modeling shows a return to normal, assuming proper reintegration. And we found some interesting information from a close examination of the Welshers' personal time signatures that may lead to knowing when the father of time is. We've also discovered the problem with Petrovich. Because of complications returning his father, Petrovich's son Matvi abandoned his scientific pursuits and joined the military in the next great war. His scientific work is at risk, as he's now set to suffer and die in a POW camp. Time frame analysis shows an opportunity to rescue him before he reaches the camp. I suggest we take it, as breaking him out of a guarded camp would be quite intrusive. We also have a bit of tidying up to do in our other time periods. In World War I, your sudden exit with Petrovich interrupted the fighting and stalled the German advance. You must find a way to keep the Germans on the march. At Antietam, your work at Burnside's Bridge has given the Union an unexpected advantage, and there's an entire Confederate brigade at risk. Perhaps related, a futuristic weapon has been left behind, probably from an opposition agent. I know this seems insignificant, but it's our duty at Chronotech to maintain history no matter who disturbs it. Good luck. tell you the one about a priest, a rabbi, and Abraham Lincoln walking into a bar? Well, the bartender looks at him and says, what is this? Some kind of joke? All right, when the advancing German army saw us warp out, they stopped the attack. Now, normally, that'd be a good thing but they're supposed to run roughshod over those poor Russians. I hate this part of the job, going back to make sure people die. But it's the Kronotech way. Gotta protect that history, right? 
So we're going back as Germans this time to make sure the fight continues as it should. We're heading back in right before we blow the bridge. I always like watching explosions. Then we'll push the fight along to the farmhouse. Then we just make sure the fighting starts up again after we warp out. Sound easy? It will be. Just as long as those opposition jerkwads don't try anything. We need to get a move on! No time to waste here! Let's hunker down here and make sure that bridge blows! Holy shit, that was close! And look at all the Russians storming the bridge! in your work from another angle, just like instant replay. <laughs> All right, pal. The Germans look like they can hold this position now. The Russians have overrun a German camp not far from here. We need to push them out. moving their way again. The Germans need to get that camp back. Let's step up and get it done. Those Russians are being even more aggressive than usual. I wonder what's going on. Time to clean up this campsite. We got live targets. from Deutschland have it handled here. Come on, we still have stuff to do. There's a train depot and an artillery battery that need our attention. Поднимаемся выше! Thank <laughs> you. 
Train depot straight ahead. Good deal. Looks like the Germans are holding the depot. What in the hell? Ah, oh, shit, this ain't good. We need to get up there and check it out. This ain't the work of Russians. I'm getting a real bad vibe about this. I gotta hunch those opposition fucknuts are behind this. You watch your step. Opposition agents, get your ass to cover and return. Shut up, you coming, son of a bitch. Pick up their shooting irons. Can't leave them here, and I got a feeling we're gonna need them. If the opposition is warping in to kill Germans, that means... Oh, the artillery post. If the opposition takes it, we're in for a Class A clusterfuck. Come on, we gotta move, buddy. Shit balls and tiddlywinks. Think we've opened Pandora's box. And inside a dozen hornet's nest tucked under the nutsack of a rabid rhinoceros. This ain't good, my friend. We gotta get up to that artillery battery. Even though I think we're too late. Oh, man. Those agents came in and killed everybody. Not that the Krauts deserve any pity, but still, they get slaughtered like this. Like my mama would say, it's a sin and a shame, but we got work to do. We cannot let the Russians win this battle. Things are foobard enough already, but we still got a chance to pull this off. Stick with me, my friend. It's time to set things straight. Over here! Get on this howitzer, McCulloch! All right, buddy. We're the new German artillery crew. Start by hitting that farmhouse. You should remember it. We were there not too long ago. <laughs> give you a big gun, you're a regular dead-eye dick. Now take out those machine gun nests. It'll give the Germans a fighting chance. Shooting. A few more machine gun emplacements. Take them out. Machine guns are smoke. Now light up the big barn. Good job, good job. Now, if my calculations are right, we should be in the small barn ready to portal out. Quick, hit the building. The Germans are breaking through. The Germans are running like scared little rabbits. But we'll worry about that later. More agents incoming!
sure did something to piss them off today. But we dialed in the artillery support for the Germans, so we still got her done. Them Krauts are getting together another push, but I think they need some leadership. Some maniacs gotta get up and cross that trench line, then the rest of them will follow. Now it's on you, pal. We're all counting on you. Was precision work, gentlemen. Time stream status for this portion of World War I has returned to normal status. No aberrations. Very well done indeed. Those interlopers that oppose us could not keep you from your duty. All is not perfect, however, and your jobs are not done. The father of time is still missing, although we are uncovering important information that may lead us to him. While we continue to develop our intel, you will complete your outstanding tasks. I will see you again when you return. I got a tip for you. If you get back to your own time, buy stock and sell it all in September of 1929. You'd think with all this fighting we'd get a little futuristic R&R. &R. Maybe send us to the great strip bars through history or something. You're probably wondering what the deal is with this younger Petrovich. <laughs> well, here's what happened. When we saved his father, we ran into some trouble getting him returned to his proper time. He was labeled as a traitor and a deserter when they didn't find his body at the farmhouse. Tainted the family name. 
So, Matfee went to redeem his father by joining the military instead of staying back and doing whatever he was supposed to do for history. Some kind of science thing, I guess. Our simulation models say he'll get out of the war just fine if we can get him before he gets to the POW camp. We'll try to nab him while he gets transferred there. We're doing this my way. I've requisitioned one of the newly developed sniper rifles. Now, this thing's a freaking cannon that's so precise it'll take the nuts off a gnat from 1,500 meters. We'll drop in here on the high ground, take out the soldiers guarding Matvey Petrovich, and snag him out of there. It's gonna be that easy. I hope. Hot damn! We nailed our landing this time. Let's find those targets before they make it to the train depot. All right, this gun does things a bit differently, so listen up, okay? The gun figures out distance, windage, humidity, all that for you. When you sight in, you use alternate fire to bring up the firing solution for that target. Now, you're going to be shooting at that, not the actual target. And we can't leave this behind, so if we get in a bind, you need to set the gun self-destruct. Most of all, don't shoot Petrovich. Got it? All right, we're here. Looks like him. Yep, blue eyes. Take him out! Target down! Is that thing a fucking cannon or what? One more! Get him before he's out of range! Hot damn! Another subject neutralized in ass-kicking fashion. Two confirmed kills. I can't make out the other targets from here. Let's get up ahead of them. Get that rifle set up. I'll call out the targets. Clear out that tower! Is this too easy for you? I think half his guts are over the next mountain range now. Go on up to that tower. We'll have a great view from up there. Gefangene gesichtet. All right, let's set up right here. Two more targets spotted and lit. Hit them. The splatter that matters. Those boys are pretty far back there. You can adjust the zoom to get a better view. Careful now, don't hit Petrovich.
They're gonna send up scouts, I bet. Let's not be here when they get here. Up to the next spot. there, buddy. This is it. We should be able to take out the rest of them from here. They're stopped up the road. Let me take a look. Right, I got them. They're just coming out from. Oh, oh, shit! Oh, fuck me!
Может быть, завтра я просто не Еще больше новых лиц я скоро забуду. Так же, как и стар. Охранники ночью иногда спят на постах. Чем дольше мы здесь остаемся. Говорят, что еще один шлем на работе. здесь. Говорят, что наши пленки Еще больше новых лиц я скоро... Hello, friend. Так you are the American I've heard about, yes? I am Matvey Petrovich. We will make our friendship later. Now I need your strong arms. We have grown weak and can't move this stove ourselves. I have a plan for escape. You would be a welcome addition. Was tun Sie? An English lesson are you having? Here is a new phrase. Execution for attempted escape. Soldaten! Bringt ihn zu meinem Untersuchungsstandplatz und versammelt die Gefangenen. Einer eurer eure Mitgefangenen, Matvei Petrovich, hast versucht zu flüchten. Ich verstehe nicht, wie er in das Gesicht unserer Großzügigkeit kam und jeden hier in tödliche Gefahr bringen kann. Nur durch unser glückliches Mitgefühl seid ihr Gefangenen bei meinem Leben. Wir müssen euch nicht zu essen geben und euer Jammer Deadly shit, Petrovich, go! 
you think you can handle, buddy, and make sure all our new Russian friends get a piece. Time for this ragtag brigade to kick some ass. Morris, get up to that machine gun tower and assume the position. There's a charge under the podium! Light it up! Ah. We gotta find Petrovich, brother! If we can't locate, I don't know a damn bit of Russian, so I hope you keep moving to the front gate! Bunch of agents. I need to make this quick. You know that big old flash and bang that distracted the Germans and gave you enough time to start the breakout? Well, you planted that flashback. You just haven't done it yet. Quick, my friend. Get in that portal. We gotta break you out. What the fresh hell? Ugh. 
Damn, my friend, we're way off target. I don't know how the hell we got here. I don't know how we're gonna get there in time to pull this off. Plus, I think that German camp down there saw the flash of us coming through the portal. I wonder... Maybe if... Aha! Let's clear out that camp and grab their truck. That'll get us to the POW camp in time. Let's get at this. We don't have any time to waste. I have bogeys. Moving ahead. All targets are on there. for that radio tower. Don't let them get there. Find the for us. Right, way to clear them out. I got this old heap running. Jump in the back and I'll take the wheel. I don't imagine you ever learned to drive. Sorry about the shitty suspension on this thing. Guess that's why they say it drives like a truck, huh? We can't go any faster. Back there, buddy! 
The engine block's taking a couple of rounds, but we're still moving. We got a few minutes to spare, but we need to get closer to set up. My! What happened to you? Dexter made it back and said you would be right behind, and then nothing. But here you are, with Matvi Petrovich, both in prisoners' uniforms. You must have a wild and incredible tale, and I would like to hear it, but we have urgent, outstanding cleanup work to do. Remember, at Chronotech, the job isn't done until history is correct. You and that cannon made a hell of a pair. Maybe too good, since more Union troops crossed the Burnside's bridge than were supposed to. Now that means Confederate General Toombs really has his rebel nuts in a vice. He's totally surrounded by these extra Union troops. To make things worse, a Union officer has gotten a hold of a modern weapon. Don't know how, probably those sloppy opposition agents. We'll go in as Confederate soldiers, drop in here, take care of that problem first. Then we'll make our way here and help Tombs hold down the fort until General A.P. Hill and the cavalry ride to the rescue. Once we even things out, we'll just slip out the back door and say goodbye to the Civil War. Hey, that kind of rhymed. <laughs> Bet you didn't know you were fighting alongside a regular Longfellow. Great reckoning is upon us, brought nigh by the evils and the sins of the Confederacy. I am his holy weapon, sent to render his divine judgment. The time for repentance has passed, only his judgment shall remain.
Burn this day! You will burn in God's holy fire! I will strike you down! After them! Sorry for running late, but trust me, there's a whole lot of shit going sideways already. Let me handle these cannons. You go on up the road and help out tombs. I'll meet you there. I dropped some more ammo for that fancy fire stick of yours ahead. Keep an eye out for it.
Thank God. I can use every man I can get. We need another man on the cannon. We've got to keep them Union boys back. Get up there! problems than I thought. The opposition's pushing hard, too hard. They're trying to shut us down in a big way. My hunch is right, we can turn the tables. Come on, we gotta find out where they're coming from. Third 
Gents, come down quick! Weapon system. Holy fuzzy shitballs, brother! They're setting up a fucking invasion! I know. We'll pull your switcheroo. I need you to reset the time alignment lasers. Enter 3015 into the keypads on all three. I'll cover you. Get to it. We're gonna get slaughtered if another group gets through. Hurry! The cleanup crew handle the details. They'll mop up any opposition agents still around, make sure the battle wraps up like it should. And that, my right friend, now, means we are done! Bills, right? The Civil War is in the books, or back in the books, the way it should be. My watch reads beer 30, pal. How about we hop on the next portal right out of here and get a cold one? Well done! The weapon has been retrieved and the cavalry arrived in time to save General Toombs. Our simulation models show a return to 99.993% normal within our standard deviation, despite the efforts of those opposition fellows. The father of time is still missing, but we have learned even more about his possible time-space location. More research needs to be done before we can make a move. Concentrate on our other outstanding matters. I will be in the research lab until you return. Well, she pretty much summed it up. We'll drop in outside of the city, make our way in this gate. A lot of the weird time signatures are coming from around here, so we'll check that out first, unless another pass suggests itself. Now, her line about open engagement protocol means you shoot first, and you don't even bother asking any questions. This whole place is going to be under a million tons of rock and ash, so nobody's going to live anyway. Do whatever you need to do. Bring back this coal fella. My fellow time stream hopper, we meet again. I will not mince any more words. We are at a crisis point. Both organizations are seeking Dr. Cole, with equal willingness to use violence. Mother's forces, including you, and our forces are marching headlong into a terrible confrontation at Pompeii. I have some advice for you. Stay out of harm's way and keep yourself safe. Mother's forces will not prevail in this fight. We are too well established. But I see a bright future for you with us. You've proven your worth, and we are always looking for talented agents. You see, we're the same. Chronotech, the opposition, it's the same organization. Only we're from the future. Mother has trouble accepting this, but it's true. We're playing for the same team. I tell you again, we will find Cole and eliminate anyone standing in our path. Keep yourself alive and we will find you later. But if you try to be Mother's hero, you will be struck down and buried under ash in the streets of Pompeii. It's time for you to complete your journey, Morris. Good luck. And if you happen to find Dr. Cole first, you'd better pray he's come to his senses and is willing to make a change to history.
there he is. Morris, Bob. Bob Morris. Alexander Morris. A pleasure to meet you, sir. Bob's our tech guru, and you two are gonna hijack the opposition's data stream. They've had a head start looking for coal, but that gives us an opportunity. We're gonna keep the opposition in the inner city busy with tactical interference while you two sneak into their HQ in the amphitheater. Find a portable terminal, tap into their data net, and we'll know where they're going and what they're doing. Morris, your security detail for this op. Keep Bob safe while he does his thing. That's the plan. I've updated the battle map, sir. If you're stocked up on weapons and ordnance, I'm ready to do this. You know, Morris, we should probably check out the courtyards and interiors. Might find some weapons and more ammo. Take out those agents!
position are searching everywhere. Be careful. I need you to activate the nearby generators. I'll reroute their power output into the teleport system. deal. I stopped their data wipe before it got underway. And I was right. They've located Dr. Cole. What the... Oh, shit.
Volcano's primed, Morris. We don't have much time. We're in a crisis, and we're on the clock. You need to need to what? Please come with us. Isn't that the usual? It matters not. I will go peaceably. However, there is the matter of my painting. It demands conclusion. Look, Doc, we don't have any time to waste. Yes, yes, I'm sure, I'm sure. Running around and around and around, and you have no idea. I'm sorry, Dr. Cole, but what the hell are you talking- I'm there. Okay. Artistic urges and all that, you know? But seeing you massive warriors in full battle gear does remind me... Remind you of what? I can't believe I haven't taken a moment to see the arena. You'll join me, won't you? Son of a... This is not the way I expected it. All right, Morris. Our guys are inside the arena. Cole's in there, too. Let's mop up the last of the opposition and get Cole out of here. Let's get this show on the road. Morris, you see what those opposition fucks did? This is why we can't have nice things. We have live targets in range. Hundred 
was amazing. You've traveled quite a long ways and quite a long time. I've been keeping an eye from afar. Agent Dexter. Just yes, your average stamp fool, Doctor. We're short on time, of course. I suggest we make an urgent exit. Not even enough time for small talk. So be it and let it be. I am ready, even perhaps willing. Morris, you've done well. I'm honored to be your partner. Now let's head out before we get buried in ash like the rest of these poor saps. Dr. Cole, it is so good to see you back. I was. All of us at Chronotech were terribly worried. What would happen without you? Oh, Mother, you have done just fine in my absence. I'm sorry for damning you with such faint praise. I should say you did wonderfully. Thank you, Dr. Cole, but it is much better to have you back. We have much to discuss. I'm sure you'd fancy a moment to clean up and refresh. So may I meet you in your office in one hour? Yes, that's splendid. We have much to discuss. I will use the time to confer with our technicians and check the status of the time streams we've been monitoring. We're awaiting confirmation, but I think we've corrected all the problems. I will see you shortly. Oh, so nice to be back. Home. Yet what a journey. You saw some sights, did you? Oh, a thousand times, yes, and a thousand times again. But all in the name of science, of course. I had to keep it to myself, but I was testing a hypothesis that could have changed everything. There was no reason to... Dr. Cole, finally we meet. It is a pleasure and an honor. I've followed your work since I was a child, and this is one of the most fascinating moments of my life. And perhaps I could say the same of you, but I apologize for my ignorance. May I ask who you are? I am Dr. Victor Stringo. I am in charge of Chronotech, but from a few decades down the line. So, meet the new boss? Is that why you're here? I have a question for you, Dr. Cole. After your quest, your experiment, do you still believe we may not change the past, no matter what? Well, my data show that changes do not have the immediate negative consequences we forecast, but I still firmly believe that any change to history will result in possibly vast and resonating repercussions. It is in our best interest to protect history. Who am I, or anybody else, to play God? I'm all for helping those that suffer. But dark days teach valuable lessons. The events of the past define our present selves. And to meddle around is to court disaster. Thank you, Doctor. I have my answer. And it breaks my heart to hear it. I have read all your works several times. You are a hero to millions, including me. And so it pains me greatly to do this. Hey! What the fuck? Easy, Agent Dexter. That will be the end to violence if I have my choice. And I have an explanation. All right. I'll listen. But my question stands. It is regrettably tragic, but necessary. The gentlemen we interfered with, the Welshes and the Petroviches, are the ancestors of some brilliant scientists. In their research, they discovered a way to code the viruses to seek out specific genetic codings. Specifically, the DNA that we receive from our racial heritage. It was an effort to combat rare specific diseases, but their work fell victim to espionage. A member of a radical fringe group was a lab assistant, and sent copies of their research to a Middle East Institute. There, less talented but more fanatic scientists worked for years, modifying the virus. The end result was a fatal pathogen that could be targeted to a specific race. A terrorist cell smuggled it into the United States, not too long after you were seized, Dexter, and released it with an airburst from a weather balloon over Washington, D.C. It probably would have killed only a few million if these less talented scientists had stabilized the virus. But they didn't, and their sloppy work rapidly mutated into a highly contagious bug that spread throughout the world. Over 99% of those with DNA sequences from European heritage died horribly, 
The plague brought a secondary wave of death. Rioting and wars as governments struggled to survive and the economies collapsed. A year after the airburst, eight out of ten people in North America were dead. Almost two billion worldwide. My family, kids, my wife, even if I could get out of this damn time prison, there's nothing. I am sorry, believe me. That's where we come in. Dr. Cole's rule about never changing history has remained intact. But we've decided to make one exception, to prevent this mass genocide. I am sorry that I could not get Dr. Cole to see our point of view. So you come back and kill him? What a humanist. Actually, this was our last resort. We've been leaving him clues, trying to move his research in the right direction. Finally, we forced a crisis of conscience and he took his sudden excursion. We hoped he'd see the facts. But even direct evidence didn't shake his true belief. Eliminating him now will make our job that much easier. You mean there's more? Yes, Agent Dexter, there is. Although we expect more resistance from this chronotech and mother, we will stop that virus before it starts. So my family... so everyone is saved? Not yet. But it's chronotech's, our chronotech's highest priority. And... Agents Dexter and Morris, we're always looking for new talent. Consider it. So, what the hell do we do now, brother? <laughs>